Bronco Stadium in Boise, Idaho. The crowd excited and ready for the start of the Crucial.com Humanitarian Bowl. And I hope these fans are as bundled up as I am for today's matchup between the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. and welcome to what looks to be an exciting bowl game. I'm Brad Nessler along with my partners Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit ready to bring you all of the intense football action. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. You're right, and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference. Tulsa has an impressive looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. And I'd like to add one thing. Oregon is looking to shut down this offense in this one. But let me tell you, they need to look somewhere else because it's not going to happen here and not against this team. That passing attack is just too good to be contained. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up. And he got it. Number 29, lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. It's up. And it's no good. It lands short. On the ground with a tailback. Touchdown, Tulsa! The halfback punches it in for the score. Well, that was a nice play. Let me tell you why. He had good blocking up front, a halfback who runs hard. What else can you ask for when you're inside the 10-yard line? Ball on the 33-yard line. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Steps up. Let's it fly. Got it! Pass it in. This kid's really having a big year. Not only does he have the receiving numbers, but he's helped his team win a few games along the way. And that's what Tom says. Winning football games. All those individual accolades are great, but winning is priority number one for everybody. Ball on the 16. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. Again with the run. Touchdown, Oregon! I like to Give the ball to the big gun. The big hoss makes his way in the end. When this guy starts rumbling, you better get out of the way, or he's going to leave big marks on your check. One man backfield. There's a play fake. He's going right. And he came down with it. What a catch. The play deserves another look, guys. Well, it's a great fake right here. It really makes the defense bite up. Anytime you get a good fake like that, the pocket holds to be able to come up with a big game like they did right here. Shaw, the lone back. Touchdown, Oregon! And that was an impressive run for the score. Forget about it. They didn't have a chance of stopping that kid there. Guys, let's take another look at that one. So. 
Number 25 comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. He gets it up. And it's good. He hit that one from way out there. Oh, man, that was a beautiful kick. They'll throw on first down. Looks under heavy pressure. Picked off by the linebacker. He's got to throw in a hurry. Throws this one out to the left. Got an opening. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. He held him up on that play. It looked like he just grabbed his jersey and just refused to let it go. And this one finally comes to an end, and it wasn't even close. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Oregon played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2004. Our final score on this one, Oregon 41, Tulsa 10. This is Brad Messler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.